be not afraid, for we are natural philosophers. And within natural philosophy, there is always discussion and academic debate. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give my position uh, statement. This is a sovereign flower of intercession, Scottsdale, Arizona. And this is for our joint project on intercession. One thing that I'm going to leave with is that our mutual and collective Father is sovereign. There is no doubt. Because God is the greatest of the great, it is difficult for humans to commentate on what he can do. Therefore, we have a faith. God, our sovereign Father, facilitates an intercession. This is an intercession of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, humans would be the receiver of the Holy Spirit as Jesus and Muhammad and the Spirit would proceed us. Although we are all the same, we are different. Jesus and Muhammad had different jobs without a shadow of a doubt and I think we need to surrender to that. Jesus was Logos. He was God's Word in flesh the spirit of triumph and the head of the spirit of triumph. Uh, prophet Muhammad was a prophet whom used intercession. Now, both Jesus and Muhammad had more in common than they had different in difference, did they not? Both are mystics. Well, how would a mystic pray? If you're a mystic, how would you pray? Well, as Luke suggested, we have to leave everything behind. Okay, what is everything behind? Well, your senses. So you would have to learn to commune using the Holy Spirit of intercession while abandoning your senses. Can you, is sight part of your senses? Okay, so if you're abandoning sight, are our eyes open? or are they close? Okay, so we know that both Jesus and Muhammad were mystics. We both know that they prayed the same way, which is face down with their head on the magnet. Okay, we both know that they were touched by the Holy Spirit and visited by angels and prophets alike. Okay. Now, there's two schools of thought to how these visitations took place. Okay, was this a uh, physical visitation? In other words, could you actually see them with your sight, uh, sound, your seven senses, or was this a mystical transfiguration and? Um, connection with our mutual sovereign father which is the school that I am from now with that said God is the greatest and we can't say what he can or can't do there so therefore I have surrendered that he would have the ability to do both but moving forward on the project um, Jesus is logos the Word of God in flesh and Muhammad Prophet Muhammad is the seal of prophecy so both hold um, a high position with our mutual and collective Sovereign Father. And they have more in common than there is a difference. But Logos was first and foremost a rabbi who came to teach and he was the Word of God. In the name of our Sovereign Father, Goman Bori, Dominator Flow, Messenger of Sovereign Precepts, Logos. Prophet Muhammad, the angels and saints of intercession, as the Holy Spirit, Barakli to say to you, Amen, Rakhbai, say to you.